morning everyone. So today is Saturday and I thought I'd vlog today purely because I've actually done my makeup and done my hair. We have no real plans for the day other than the fact that Sam has the day off. So I'm actually just about to film a YouTube video really quickly just so I can get that over and done with because that needs to go up on Tuesday. <laughs> and then I think we're just gonna head out walk the dog, get some food, that kind of thing. Um, so I thought it might be nice to bring you guys along with me. It's quite a nice day, like the sun keeps coming in and out, but um, yeah, it is quite a nice day, at least it's not raining anyway. Also, we started doing a little bit of work in the garden last week and I filmed some of it, so we basically painted our shed um, and our fence. Uh, so I thought I would show you that because I know, obviously from Monday, we can have people in our garden. So I know a lot of people have been like, sort of sprucing up their gardens a little bit and I'm so so glad that we did it because it looks so good um yeah it looks brilliant so I will insert that footage now and then I will come and chat to you after Okay, so this is the finished shed. I'm so happy with the colour. I think it's such a nice sage green colour and we do have um, some blossom here. So I think that's gonna look so nice when it all properly comes out like against the green of the shed. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. And then we've also done our fence, um, which we use the sprayer for, which you guys will have seen. Um, I think this could do with another coat if I'm honest, but um, yeah, it was quite difficult. I need to peel the tape off there actually should i do that now oh no not not if i'm gonna do another coat um but yeah really quite chuffed with it i think it looks really good so this is the sprayer it's the wagner one i'll link it down below if i can but it was really good i recommend it um so yeah literally they made like a probably a whole full day job about 10 minutes so that's good and this is the paint that we used so oh <laughs> It's Cupronol um, paint in the shade Willow, just like garden shades paint. Uh, six year weatherproof for garden, apparently. If you guys enjoyed that little garden footage and you found it useful, I will link the paint that I used down below if I can. Um, but yeah, it looks so, so good. So I'm really, really happy with it. Um, and Sam has just produced the goods over here. Let me show you. Look at that. These are just the frozen pan of chocolates so that you just pop in, the, yeah, pop in the oven. In 18 um, minutes. So yeah, happy Saturday. Mm, Thank you. You chose the big ones, right? <laughs> yeah. 
Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. so nice. So flaky, isn't it? Mm. I've also been doing a little bit of um, DIY yesterday and I actually varnished some shelves. Excuse the fake tan on my hand, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I varnished some shelves. So I used this, this is the Ron Seal interior varnish in Walnut. So this is the original color of the shelves and I just happen to have a spare um, like set. So this wood is quite like an orangey wood. Um, so I decided to try and go for like a darker color. That's why I stained these Whoa. in the walnut. Um, so I'm trying to decide which ones I prefer. Um, actually, Sam, will you hold these up for me underneath the shelf so I can see? I prefer the light ones at the start, but I think- You think you like these now? I think you've sold these to me. Go on what then. What am I doing? Just hold one up underneath so I can just see. They're stuck. Really? Shouldn't no, be, it should they? be dry. Yeah, dry now. Bit... So that's the difference in them. And yeah, I think I prefer the walnut, don't you? Which one's walnut? The darker one. Mm. And I also think I'm gonna lower the shelf down to about here. Cause I think it looks a little bit silly. I originally put it so high because I wanted to cover the plug socket. Yeah, but I can pop them on their sides so we can still have them. I don't know, what oh, do you think? Oh, it's okay, I can just do that again. I don't know. I like it. I quite like how like clean those ones look. Yeah, but they look, that will look clean too. Put it, put it back over there a sec. Yeah, I think that looks really nice. So yeah, that was really easy. It was quite a messy job, but um, this was really cheap from um, just being cute. So I've probably got blue? that in my hands now. Yeah, it's actually navy when you paint it on. Don't know if you can see, like, it's kind of like, mm, you can't really see, but yeah, it comes out navy. Um, but then when it goes on, it just creates this really, really nice finish. So I had to sand these. Um, and to be honest, I could probably do with sanding them again. But yeah, I'm quite chuffed with that, really. This is my gigantic pile of washing I need to take up. What is new, honestly. Um, but I'm gonna go film now. Okay, so I've just finished filming um, my video. It was a really fun one, actually, which um, probably will be up before this vlog. Um, all about like little fun things to do at weddings and like nice thoughtful gestures at weddings and just, yeah, like ideas, basically. Um, so it was really fun to chat about that. And now I'm gonna get ready because we're gonna go out and grab some lunch somewhere. I'm really craving a burger. I just want like a really nice like cheeseburger or something. Um, so we're gonna go out and grab some lunch. So I'm gonna go put on a different outfit because it's a little bit cold to just wear a shirt. This shirt is from H&M though. If anybody is wondering, it's like an oversized big shirt and then I have joggers on with it because that's how we roll with YouTube videos. Um, so yeah, let's go and choose an outfit and then let's go out and grab some lunch. Okay, so this is my outfit for today. So I have this cap on from Zara. Um, my t-shirt is from Nguyen. It's like quite a long line, um, but I've tucked it in. My blazer is H&M. And then these, um, what am I saying? These leggings are Zara. And then I just have my trusty Converse on. And then I think I'm gonna pop that khaki coat on because I just don't think it's the weather for just a blazer. I don't think. We'll see when we get out. <laughs> Thought I would show you my outfit a little bit better because it's a little bit clearer down here. So yeah, this is also my new stool that I got from Soho Home. I absolutely love it. It's like a boucle kind of material um, and it's just gorgeous. So yeah, very, very happy with that. But yeah, me and Sam are accidentally a little bit matching today. <laughs> He's got uh, literally like a beige jacket on and black trousers, so whoopsie. Okay, we've just got here and there's a wedding dress shop. Um, and I've just asked Sam which one he thinks I would pick out of all of them. Probably between these two. Which one? Well, you don't really want your arms out. <laughs> which leaves that one. Yeah. I don't really like it. Do you, do you not? Do you like that one more? Yeah, that one's pretty to be one, fair. Yeah, it's nice. It it's got like a nice back as well. Can you see the back? I don't know if you can see the back there, but it's like... So, we've just come into town. Um, it's actually really quite cold and windy, which is such a shame. But Monday is meant to be like a bit of a heat wave, which is exciting. I think it's like 17 degrees, which feels mad. Um, so yeah, we've just come into town. We're gonna try and grab some food and yeah, just have a little mooch really. And then we're gonna take him for a walk at like a little national park area nearby. Sorry I didn't speak too much earlier, it was quite busy but we managed to 
get some food, had a burger, which I was craving. So yeah, I had a burger and chips and then I had some waffles. So I really went for it. Um, Sam had a chicken burger and yeah, it was really, really nice, but it was very busy. So we have now just come to the park, as you can see. Yeah, just for a little walk really. It's actually really quite cold. Yeah, I definitely didn't wear enough layers. But yeah, we're just gonna have a little walk now and then just head home. Good morning guys. So I am officially the worst vlogger ever. Um, I can't actually even remember when I last spoke to you. I think it was like a week ago. Uh, so yeah, this vlog is very much all over the place. Um, so it's actually Tuesday the, I think it's the 6th of April today. So we had uh, Easter weekend, which I didn't vlog because I just barely did anything to be honest. Um, Sam was working for the whole weekend, so I went on a couple of walks with some friends, but uh, it was kind of too cold to have anybody in the garden. Um, so yeah, I didn't really do a lot. I did a lot of sleeping, which was really nice, and I actually feel like really kind of well rested, so I think I needed just to chill out. Um, so yeah, I didn't really have anything to vlog, and I spent the whole time just looking very much like a warthog, basically. <laughs> um, I'm definitely at the stage now where I'm just so desperate to get my hair done. Um, to be fair, it looks okay now because I've literally just washed it, but any day after like hair wash day, it just looks so greasy. I'm sure other blondes will relate when you haven't had your hair done in ages and you have like dark roots, it just looks greasy all the time. So yeah, I'm very, very excited to get my hair done now and everything like that. So if you guys don't live in the UK, we are allowed back in uh, beauticians and hair salons and gyms and um, outdoor dining areas from the 12th of April. So it's only a week away, which is so exciting. Definitely like just gonna start feeling a lot more normal. So I literally am such a keno. So I have my eyebrows booked in for 8.30 on Monday morning, <laughs> honestly. And then I have my nails booked in for 10.30 on Monday. Um, I haven't been able to book in my hair yet. I'm hoping I can get that booked in soon because yeah, I just feel like I need to do that. So yeah, I'm very, very excited for all of that to open back up. And yeah, I mean, that's kind of all I have to update you on really. I keep meaning to do my wardrobe switch over where I basically switch over all of my winter stuff and my summer stuff, but the weather has just been like crazy. It's been so sunny, but really, really cold. I think it's like, what is the temperature today? Because I swear it feels like about two degrees. Hang on. Yeah, it's four degrees right now. So that's like freezing. So yeah, that is how that is why I haven't switched them over yet. But I think I might do it this week because I'm just like getting bored of my winter clothes and I want my summer ones now. And I'm hoping, I think it's going to rain for the next few days. But I'm hoping after that it is going to improve. Mm, it doesn't really look like it's going to improve actually. It's like a lot of rain. But yeah, anyway, I am going to make some lunch. Look how cute this little thing is. <laughs> My friend um, who has a baby made it for me. Little Easter bunny, it's so cute. Anyway, yeah, I am going to make some lunch now. I'm just going to have, I actually had really high hopes for myself and I was planning on making soup, which I still might do, but I might do it tomorrow instead because I haven't got much time today um so i'm just gonna make avocado on uh rivita with some tomato i think um it's one of my favorite lunches or snacks to have so easy um but it tastes delicious so i'm just gonna pop you back here and we can get cracking okay so we need some avocado some tomatoes A lime. I feel like I've literally just eaten my body weight in chocolate all weekend. So yeah, I'm trying to be a little bit healthier, but it's kind of hard when you've still got loads of Easter chocolate like hanging about, but it's definitely a good problem to have. So yeah, right, let's get a chopping board. 
this vlog has literally just been all over the place so i'm so sorry i really need to get better at vlogging but i think i think because i spend a lot of time just not doing a lot like just sat at my laptop it just ends up that whole weeks go past and i haven't vlogged anything so and i'm really conscious because it kind of feels like the only things to vlog at the moment is like packages or you know like new deliveries coming in but i don't want to be just showing you like new stuff all the time so i'm trying to you know think of what else i can vlog but it's quite difficult to think of things uh but yeah so anyway just gonna cut this avocado up mush it all up whack it on some crackers and then we are good to go and then i'm gonna take the dog out for a walk i actually ended up because sam was working as i said all weekend i actually ended up going on some like quite long walks just by myself and it was actually lovely i actually really enjoyed it i just put um my headphones in i listened to a podcast and just like stopped and took photos and bless raf he literally didn't leave my side like the whole walk which is never normally like him normally he's like off foraging everywhere and stuff but yeah he didn't leave my side the whole walk which is a bit of a relief because I don't know if you guys have seen but at the moment in the UK like there seems to be a massive kind of rise in dog theft which is horrible and like really stresses me out and I get quite nervous now when I walk him so it was quite a relief especially when I'm on my own because I just think you know if Sam's with me I don't know I just feel a little bit safer um which is ridiculous but I do um <laughs> so yeah I've been a little bit nervous about that but just have to get on with it really and just hope that nothing happens and just sort of keep Raph a little bit closer but anyway there's my avocado so I've got a whole avocado in there so I'm just going to mush it up oh I need to get some chilli mm -hmm. oh I'm actually making a um veggie curry tonight so I can film me making that uh I'm just trying to eat a lot less meat these days uh just for loads of reasons really so yeah i thought i would make a veggie curry it's just like sweet potato butternut squash and that kind of thing so yeah god that avocado was so easy to mush up it's great when they're like a little bit old so that they mush easy so then i'm just gonna pop some chili flakes in i don't know why i'm telling you how to make smashed avo because it's pretty easy um and then squeeze of lime But yeah, it's so funny. So obviously all the outdoor like dining areas are allowed to open. So that's like pub gardens and restaurants have got like terraces and stuff. But trying to get a booking is like impossible. I rang up one place and they said they had a waiting list of 200 people. And she was like, would you like to be added? I was like, um, I was like, no, it's okay, thanks. <laughs> because something's telling me that 200 people probably are not gonna drop out. So yeah, I literally can't get any bookings and I think it's totally my fault because I should have been more organized, but I didn't realize that, I don't know, people were gonna be so on it. So yeah, I don't know. Have you guys found any bookings anywhere? Have you got stuff booked? Let me know. To be fair, I'm hoping that I can just go somewhere because a couple of places aren't taking bookings. So I'm hoping I can just find a table somewhere because I'm so desperate to eat out. So yeah, but fair play to the people who have been super organized and book tables because you are the ones laughing right now uh so i'm just gonna chop up some uh cherry tomatoes and pop them in my avocado normally as well i would chop up a little bit of red onion but we haven't got any hopefully be able to eat out and you know like vlog that and stuff and oh i'm so excited to go out to eat it's just gonna feel so so nice uh, and it would just be nice that we can do it like socially with our friends and stuff too so we can have people in the garden at the moment in the uk but as i said the weather has just not been great for that <laughs> i think i need to get like a patio heater or something but i bet they're probably sold out um, because i'm sure everyone else has got the same idea one of my friends was trying to get some outdoor furniture and i think the wait list on them is like literally months so yeah it's funny isn't it like what sells out depending on what's going on with the pandemic <laughs> like first it was loo roll and now it is outdoor furniture <laughs> i still can't get any gym equipment either i've been trying to get some weights and that seems to still be sold out but maybe when the gyms reopen um that might yeah might be able to get some <laughs> oh dear 
So this is the smashed avocado and then I'm just gonna get some crackers. I absolutely love these. The Rivita dark rye crackers. I'm just obsessed with them. Um, you can also get like uh, black pepper ones and stuff too. But yeah, I'm really, really into them at the moment. And then we are good to go. <laughs> so I'm gonna sit over here and do some work. So I'm all wrapped up to head out for a walk. I've got my Yankees cap on, my sunglasses because it's quite sunny and then I have Sam's bomber on which is All Saints, and then I just got two hoodies on, my Adenola leggings, and then my New Balance trainers. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Just got back from our walk. As you can see, I'm looking a little bit bedraggled. My hair is like, all come out because it started snowing like halfway through, it was so weird. I think I filmed a bit, so yeah, it was crazy. But yeah, I'm just gonna get all of these like outdoor clothes off now, and I'm the sun's out, like this weather's mad. Yeah, I'm gonna get all these outdoor clothes off, and I also just got an ASOS parcel delivered. And I know I said I didn't wanna just like show deliveries, but I feel like you might wanna see what's in there. So yeah, thought I may as well show you that. Okay, so here is my parcel. Oh, I feel like I need the light on. Oh, my legs hurt so much. Sam, yeah. are you walking past the light switch? Yeah. Can you turn it on for me, please? My poor little legs. My legs are hurting. I worked out yesterday. Why don't you come sit down no. and chat no. to the vlog? Hi, it's been ages. Vlog, alright. Come on, come sit. I really don't want to. Okay. Why not? I'm doing what? Sit and look at what I've got from ASOS. I'll watch from here. So don't I don't want to sit on the floor. But they want to see you. <laughs> it's been ages since you've been on the cam. I know. He missed me. <laughs> he really doesn't want to be here. No. How about you unbox my ASOS order then? <laughs> Open it nicely oh, so I can send tag. it back. Boyfriend unboxes ASOS order. Brilliant. Stop being moody. I think you know what I got anyway. Oh yeah, I do remember actually. Little dog walking please. Yeah. So I'm going on loads of dog walks at the moment and I feel like it's such weird weather where you don't want to wear like a big coat, apart from today, but you don't want to wear a big coat, you just want to wear like a little fleece or a jacket. So you wear it's all very, wide, haven't you? Yeah, I've just been wearing his, so I decided to just get my own. Mm. But this isn't quite what I was, oh no, that's no, it cute. Is. It's because it was undone on Oh the yeah, that would be a good little fleece. You know when it's like cold still, but not wet? Nice that's nice. Hang on, let me show them. Yeah, I'm doing the poppers. No, no, don't do the poppers, because it's hard to see otherwise. I like that. Oh, God. Here we go. Little fleece, you can't really see. There you go. Looks like that. It was actually really reasonable as well. I think it was like 25 pounds or something, so. Yeah, it was, I remember. I might put it on now, see what it looks like. What else have I got in there? I like that. Sorry, I thought I was waiting for you to finish this one and then we'll start on the next one. There we go. Not bad. Fucking hell, you all right? Yeah. There we go. Quite like that. That's good for just going on walks, isn't it? That's yeah, good. I'm happy with that. Hello. Oh yeah, treating myself to some North Face Well, oh, you bits. went all out on the old dog, I've been, dog I've, walking. Well, I've been going on loads of really long walks and I just felt like I needed the gear, you know? All the gear. No idea. Wow, that feels. What size is that? Joe. Hopefully it's big enough for me. No, it's a small. Not going to fit you. So selfish. Is it nice? It's it, men's as well. It feels ridiculous. Oh, wow. <gasps> okay, so I got a North Face fleece, which is... Polar Tech. Polar Tech. Micro series. This is actually a man's one, but I got in a small. So you could have just worn a big one. No, they yeah. actually didn't have any bigger sizes because I was going to do that. But yeah, this is the fleece. Nice little olive green colour. It says North Face there. Feels so nice. I like that, but I do think I'd want that in a bigger size. What do you think? Because they didn't have it, so I don't really have try a choice. It on, yeah. yeah, but that's that. There's Literally a just a fleece. That. What else have we got? I don't know what you do with ASOS. Do you have to keep all the plastic bits as well? No. Oh yeah, I bought some... I don't know why you bought these. I've got loads of these. Yeah, but I don't want to keep wearing yours. So I just bought some... This is honestly the most boring ASOS order ever. There's nothing exciting in this whatsoever. But I just bought some plain 
t-shirts for working out in or going on walks in these are men's again but i just find them to be like really really comfy i love working out in these <laughs> in these t-shirts i also have this like weird obsession with this color at the moment um but yeah i love working out in these because they're just like comfy they're not too tight i don't like working out in anything too tight so yeah why did you wear this is full of dog are you going though. to bloody iron apple or something <laughs> Yeah, that actually is a little bit. You've got a bum bag. Yeah, but I want a nice one. I thought this would be good to put rough streets in when I go on walks. Because if I say, right, okay, for example, say I wear this fleece and nothing else, I have no pockets. Probably put some trousers on, yeah. No, girls' trousers don't have pockets because I wear leggings. So I needed a bum bag for that kind of occasion, but the knife on that is a little bit big, isn't it? What do you use this on dog walks after oh, you've yeah. just mocked me? Just for the camera, on it? Showing off. You are showing off. Oh, yeah, sorry, really little sniffing. bum bag. You are so sniffly. Stop sniffing. Yeah, just <gasps> do you know what else I got? Put them out. That's the same, that's just a black North Face fleece. Oh, don't throw it. Oh, wow, that one's... What size is like a? Oh, that's tiny. Yeah, that's a medium. I think these are designed to be like tight. But I don't really want Both tight. Men's. No, no, this is women's. This one. <gasps> no, I think that's going to be too small. I'm going to send that one back. I don't know which one. Oh, here we go. The moment you've all been waiting for. <laughs> I got some Crocs. <laughs> Copied me. What did you just do then? I went. <laughs> Sorry, my nose is really itchy. Um, yeah, I got some Crocs because basically I've just been seeing everyone wear Crocs at the moment. <laughs> they're the cutest things ever. Oh, they're so cute. Yeah, I've been seeing everyone wear Crocs at the moment, and basically when I was working out in the garden and like doing all the painting and just like generally being in the garden and like gardening, I was wearing my trainers and I was getting them so muddy and ruined. So I picked some of these up. And they're in a bit of a wacky colour, but they were the only ones that had left stock in my size. These are actually hard to get hold of at the moment. Hot prop. Hot what? Property. <laughs> are you going to try and make a joke then? I was going to say like... Hot property. Crop property. <laughs> I'm so tired. I need to go. Oh my god, how cute are these? Let me put them on. Hang on. How do I? Oh. Okay. Yeah, and Sam got some in black, so... <sighs> They look unreal. <laughs> Careful. Cute, hey? Wait, hang on. Wait. I'm done now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I feel like we can get a better thumbnail than that when we put my leg up. <laughs> Lol. So yeah, got some Crocs. That was the most boring ASOS order you've ever seen in your life. I'm so sorry about that, guys. I quite, I enjoyed that more than most It's of them. very outdoorsy ASOS order, but I suppose that's what we're doing at the moment. And also, I thought these would be good for when we have people around for like barbecues in the garden, and it's a bit cold, I can wear my fleece. Certainly can. I'm definitely gonna keep that one, but I think I'm gonna send back the black one because I think that's a bit small. So I thought I would show you this on properly. So yeah, pretty. Simple, but yeah, it's cute. I really like it. Happy with that. I'll link it down below. And then this is the North Face one. Ignore the fact that it really doesn't go with these like purpley grey leggings, but it's so soft and comfy. Very, very happy with this. So yeah, this is a men's small, which I prefer the fit of. I'm gonna send the woman's one back because I think it's gonna be like really tight on me and I'd rather just something a little bit looser and comfier, but oh my God, this is so soft. Wow, love that. Do you like it? Oh yeah, I do actually. Oh yeah, I do. Oh, <laughs> no, I like it. <laughs> it's cool. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, I wish it was big enough for me It's to so make. soft. <laughs> it's nice. No, I do actually want one. <laughs> okay, so I've got all my ingredients for my veggie curry, so I'm doing Sweet potato, onion, pepper. Um, this is another onion, but I don't think I'm gonna need that. Butternut squash. I'm gonna add some corn in there and then also some beans, even though this isn't in the recipe, so I'm just gonna kind of wing it with them, but I'm sure it'll be fine. 
And then in terms of the spices, I'm going to use mild curry powder. Excuse Sam, he's on PlayStation. Um, cumin seeds, um, paprika, uh, turmeric, turmeric, how do you say it? Um, and I need mustard seeds, but I just realized I've got the wrong color. And I don't know whether that's gonna matter because these are yellow and I need black. Do you think that matters? Not sure. And then coconut milk. And then I've got some rice to have with it. So I'm gonna get cracking with this. Okay, my first task is to peel the sweet potatoes. So I've popped all the chopped up butternut squash and sweet potato in a big roasting tray and then I've just popped um, curry powder, paprika, turmeric and I popped some chilli flakes in there because it said chilli powder and we didn't have any so that'll do. And then I'm going to pop it in the oven for 30 minutes, take it out, add the peppers, pop it back in for another 10 um, and then yeah it should be ready to add to the curry. I'm popping it in at 220. Okay, and then I've just got some olive oil, and then I've just popped in some cumin seeds and mustard seeds. The recipe did say coconut oil, but I didn't have any, so we're just going with this. Oh my god, look at them popping all over the place. Ah. This is mad. Oh my god, wait, we're gonna, oh jeez. No, okay, just added in after that weird experience. <laughs> added in red onion, uh, chopped coriander stalks. And then I'm going to add in some garlic and chilli as well. Okay, I've just added two tins of, what's it called, coconut milk. And I'm going to just leave that to simmer kind of thing for about 20 minutes. I've decided to pop the beans in here as well. Just adding a little bit of lime. So this has been bubbling away for about 20 minutes. I'm just going to add that in and then I'm going to take the veg out of the oven and add that in. So I've just popped the veg in from the oven and I've got the rice in the microwave. Uh, and this is just cooking for another couple minutes more and then I'm going to add some spinach in. And I'm just about to, sorry, excuse the mess. I'm definitely not a very tidy cook. I'm just about to zest some of this lime to pop through the rice. It's a little HelloFresh uh, technique I got. And that is the finished product. I know that does not look appetizing at all, but yeah this is sam's i've already started eating mine so um yeah looks nice mm -hmm. you excited oh yeah so finished our curry and i'm gonna have cream egg and raf's just chilling down there <laughs> but yeah as if i haven't had enough chocolate over easter okay guys i am gonna finish the vlog here i really hope that you enjoyed it so it was literally the most random all over the place video i feel like i say that in all my videos but yeah i feel like bad when they're not in a nice kind of normal order but yeah anyway hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you guys in my next one bye